Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sheriff Sam Page. I'm Sheriff of Rockingham County, North Carolina. I'd like to welcome all of our special guests that are here today uh, for this news conference on our basically phase one push out of the uh, Volunteer School Safety Resource Officer Program, a piece of legislation that was enacted in 2013 that we're pulling up as a tool to try to utilize in Rockingham County, North Carolina, and maybe across the state of North Carolina. At this time, I'd like to introduce some of our, our, our guests that are here today. Today we have North Carolina President Pro Temporary, Senator Phil Berger, North Carolina Speaker of the House, Tim Moore, Representative Kyle Hall, Representative Burke Jones, unavailable today, uh, uh, had a uh, doctor's appointment, uh, Chairman of the Rockingham County Commissioners, Kevin Berger, Rockingham County Manager, Lance Metzler, in the back, <laughs> um, Dr. Rodney Shotwell, Rockham County School Superintendent. And also, I know we have some representatives of the school board that are here. Thank you for being here today. Uh, city managers from Eden, Riesel, Madison, Mayadan, Stonewall, and Wentworth. Thank you. Uh, we also have some police chiefs present. If you're a police chief here present, would you give your name in the city that you work in? Charles Caruso, Mayadan. Mike Rutherford, Madison. Chief Castle Reesville. And Chief uh, Frank Moore uh, was, was, was tied up, so he couldn't be here, but he sends his regards and regrets. Uh, how about sheriffs that are present here today, besides myself? Yeah. Please, sheriffs. Uh, Sheriff Robert Graves, Randolph County. Sheriff Charles McDonald, Henderson County. Sheriff Tony Durden, Caswell County. And again, welcome to you also. And also, I'd like to thank the Rockingham County Sheriff's Office staff that helped set up the room and also helped make this event possible today. Well, the question you ask is, why are we here today? Well, in law enforcement and protecting our schools, we have three concerns. Our job is to protect and serve the students, the teachers, the principals, and protect our schools. Teachers want to teach, children want to learn. That's our goal, to make sure that happens. We're here today to show our support for school safety in North Carolina and protecting our children and their teachers. I'm a parent of a grown child. I was her resource officer, and I've served in law enforcement for more than 30 years. I'm tired of seeing all the school violence and shootings in this country. These type of incidents could happen anywhere, as we know, anytime, and you can't predict an event, but we can prepare for these types of scenarios. We need to target harden our schools. You've heard it on TV. Schools are looked at as soft targets, but we need to do something to better protect our kids, and we need to do it now. The time for action is now. We saw what happened in Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida just recently, a mass shooting. Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut in 2012, a mass shooting. Columbine High School in 1999. So basically, ever since I've been the sheriff of Rockingham County, I've seen these events happen around the country, and I look at what can we do to better protect our schools, working with our school officials, working with our principals, working with our school resource officers. Enough is enough today in North Carolina. Taking no action towards school safety and not protecting our teachers and children is totally unacceptable. That's why we're all here today, to show our support that we want to take action. Now I'm going to give you an overview of a law. You've probably uh, read a recent push out we did last, uh, last week. And I met with Dr. Shotwell, had a good conversation, uh, looked at the uh, possibility of enacting this program. But in 2013, Following the Sandy Hook shooting, our North Carolina legislature was able to pass a law to allow for experienced, sworn law enforcement officers and former military police to participate in a volunteer school safety resource officer program. I want to repeat, experienced, sworn law enforcement officers and military police to participate in a volunteer safety school resource officer program. With a minimum of two years experience, honorable discharge, pass a physical, meet sheriffs or criminal justice standards for education and firearm proficiency, agreements with our local school boards to allow programs to, to participate, and under supervision, the school resource officers and volunteers would be under the supervision of a sheriff or chief or their designee within the agency. The volunteer has the power of arrest while carrying out their duties, and there are no liabilities while serving as a volunteer while they're acting in good faith carrying out their duties. Now this bill was passed by our legislature in 2013. But now, in 2018, 
We can't wait for another tragic event and loss of even one child's life. I brought this 2013 law and content to the attention of my superintendent, Dr. Shotwell, Rodney Shotwell, who is with us on the podium today. And recently, as one possible solution, I didn't say the total solution, but one possible solution, and it's already there in, in the law. With Dr. Shotwell's approval, I moved forward with this project and I contacted our local chiefs and some sheriffs around North Carolina to consider this volunteer program as just one possibility for school safety in our county and in North Carolina. If we're successful, we have the opportunity to establish a model and a template for the rest of North Carolina to follow so other school districts can protect their schools and children. No other school district, and I'm aware of in North Carolina, is involved in this program yet. And I hope to see more involved. Is this program the total solution? No. I just see this as one tool in our toolbox provided to help law enforcement in our counties to supplement school safety coverage. A full-time paid school resource officer in each school in our county would be another option. The funding and adding of school counselors and school psychologists would also be a welcome addition. Some of these options are good, but a combination would be better. What is sad is that we can protect our airports, professional sporting events, and all kinds of dignitaries in the land with armed protection, but we don't seem to be able to spend enough money in America to protect our most precious little ones in school and their teachers. With this continued support of our legislature and its leadership, we can make a difference in school safety. We must do better, and we can do better. Thank you. At this time, um, I'd like to call up Senator Phil Berger for a few words. Thank you, Sheriff. Um, I, I'm here because uh, I, I, I wanted to commend uh, Sheriff Page and also the, uh, the other sheriffs, uh, local school board, uh, local authorities uh, for their uh, willingness to look at this law that, uh, that was passed a couple of years ago. Uh, I think this is uh, the right step to take. Uh, one of many that uh, likely will need to be taken, and uh, I certainly appreciate uh, the sheriff's uh, proactive stance on this. I also wanted to introduce Senator Ron Raven. Uh, Senator Raven is the uh, co-chair of the uh, Joint Legislative Committee on Emergency Management, uh, and that is a committee that has been looking into some of these issues uh, dealing with schools and school violence um, over the past uh, several months, and uh, actually over the past several years. So uh, he came here from, uh, from Harnett County, he represents Harnett Lee, uh, and Johnston County, and I appreciate Senator Raven, uh, who's also a uh, retired um, uh, military uh, officer uh, who uh, uh, has a, a great interest in doing everything that, uh, that he can uh, to, uh, to help the legislature understand some of these issues. So uh, thank you very much, and Chair, thank you. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to uh, have uh, Speaker Moore, if you like to come up and say a few words, and we appreciate you being here today. Thank you, Sheriff Page. Uh, also, I want to recognize my colleague, uh, Kyle Hall, who's doing a fantastic job for this county and the legislature and who has supported this legislation. You know, the Volunteer Resource Officer Program, I think, has been aptly described as another piece of the puzzle. Uh, it's one more piece to make our schools safer. As a parent of two young boys who were in the public schools in my home county, I, I'm like every other parent. I want the best protection for every child in the school. Uh, I, I applaud, Sheriff, what you are doing here and what the other sheriffs are doing around the state to take advantage of this law that was passed in 2013. Uh, and to also know that our, we know that our work isn't done. Uh, we presently are working in the House of the Select Committee, and the Senate, of course, has an oversight committee as well that is look, that, that both committees are looking at these issues. We know it's not one thing. We know it takes a combination of their mental health issues, it's criminal justice, it's hardening the targets and, and, and you know, hardening the schools and making them safer from shooters. It's a combination of approaches that are going to be necessary to make sure that our students are as safe as they can be. But I'm here today in, in, in Senator Berger and, and Representative Hall's district uh, to voice my support for what the uh, police chiefs and the sheriffs in the law enforcement community are doing and certainly in taking advantage of this law uh, that we're very proud that we have. Matter of fact, we're probably ahead of the curve, I would say, in North Carolina and even having this law in the books. Something that we already have now is something that other states are talking about implementing. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff, and thank you all for being here. Um, I have the honor of representing part of Rockingham County and the North Carolina House, the Speaker Moore mentioned. 
and I was I was not around when the bill was passed, uh, but I do support what Sheriff Page is doing. Uh, the most vital resource that the state of North Carolina has is in each and every classroom in the state of North Carolina. We've got to do everything that we can to make sure that they are protected each and every day that they go into that school, and also our teachers to make sure that they are protected. And I am so glad that uh, not only has Sheriff Page and Dr. Shotwell been forward thinking uh, with this statute, but I'm uh, very proud of the leadership that Senator Berger and Speaker Moore have shown uh, with uh, finding more solutions to this problem that we have across the United States. But uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Shotwell. I stand before you today as a parent first and foremost. I have an elementary school student and a middle school student. I want every child, not only in Rockingham County, to be safe, but I want them to be safe everywhere. I was a high school principal when the Columbine happened, and that was our 9-11 in public schools. The age of innocence, of the open doors, of people just being able to come into the schools ended. And so now, you know, unfortunately there have been other shootings. For us here in Rockingham, uh, meeting with the sheriff, I can't thank the, the leadership here, Senator Berger, Speaker Moore, uh, because they have been very supportive of what's, what we need to do in our schools. Safety is a multi-pronged issue that we deal with. The best defense we still have is if something, if something doesn't seem right, tell somebody. Because that, if you look back at some of these cases, there were pieces, there were signs, and that's what we're working at here. But really, to have volunteers in our schools who have prior experience, we have people here in this county who have grandchildren in many of our schools. And I think anytime we can have that coverage, it's gonna be great. Our kids see law enforcement in our schools, and they see them as assistants, you know, community help. They're not seen as just people who enforce the law. They see them as safety. And they see them as a friend. And I think that's another way, if we can have former uh, police officers, deputies, military police to come into our schools and be able to provide that for us, it'll be a welcome uh, change for us that we would definitely have here in Rockingham County. On behalf of my Board of Education, they're constantly asking me about safety because we all want what's best for our kids. And I'm doing what they're asking me to do, and I appreciate their support, and uh, we hope to be the, the model, not only for North Carolina, but maybe the nation, and able to make this uh, program work. And again, I want to thank the leadership. Thank you all very much for everything that you do for us. I've got a, I've got a couple of sheriffs that have traveled a little distance here, but i got one <laughs> sheriff, Sheriff McDonald. He traveled all the way from the beautiful mountains. So, up near, uh, we call it Edneville up there where the Justice Academy is, up in Henderson County. Yes, sir. And uh, we'd like to have you come up and say a few words, and I appreciate you making the trip today. Sure thing. Thank you. Again, I'm not going to belabor what's been said already. I'm very proud to be a part of the, uh, the folks from Raleigh, uh, the other uh, chiefs and sheriffs here. Again, as Sheriff Page said, this is one tool of many that we're all looking at. One of the things that uh, I'm very gratified to see and would encourage across the state of North Carolina is that we continue to come together, uh, leaving the differences out and really listen to the rank and file folks who can help us figure out uh, what, are the, what are the best uh, avenues of approach to ensure the kind of school safety. I heard somebody say a few moments ago that North Carolina really could be a model and I think it's gonna be the citizens and uh, the unity <coughs> of law enforcement, uh, uh, school boards and administrations and certainly our, our lawmakers are going to help that be successful. I want to say also, uh, Sheriff Page, I certainly do appreciate you reviving this and looking at some of the things we can do to make it a little bit more substantial, a little bit more of a viable tool for uh, school systems. Certainly that's going to be up to the uh, school administrators themselves in concert with their local sheriffs to decide what works best, but again, I think all the tools uh, that we can have available or certainly make us uh, more likely to be successful in this endeavor. So thank you very much, sir. And I, I'd like Sheriff Graves, would you like to come up and say a few words from Randolph County? Thank you. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Robert Graves, Randolph County. Certainly proud to be here in, in uh, partnership with the legislature, uh, leaders and sheriffs uh, to 
look at what we can do to keep our schools safe. That's our number one priority is keeping our children safe. And I think we do a good job overall, but we can certainly, uh, there's room for improvement. And uh, this is a great tool to look at and study to uh, see if it can uh, help supplement the areas that we, uh, resources uh, doesn't provide the money or for additional SROs for one thing maybe. But uh, Randolph County, we have a lot of, a lot of veterans in Randolph County. And I've already been in touch with a lot of them, calling in, talking to me, and retired officers. So I think it's a resource there that is untapped that would uh, have time and certainly an interest to come in and protect our children. I have a granddaughter in, in the public schools, and that's certainly precious to me. My daughter's a teacher, so I have a vested interest in that, uh, along with all of our teachers and uh, children in Randolph County. So glad to be a part of this and, and uh, look forward to moving forward as we, as we work out the the uh, things that have to be uh, put in place to, to make this law uh, work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. And this time, I'd like, I'd like to reintroduce uh, Senator uh, Rayburn. He wanted to say a few words here. And again, I apologize for, for not recognizing you in the beginning. Thank I you. was hiding. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, yes, and it's an honor to be here. I think one of the comments I'd like to make to start is that your Joint Legislative Emergency Management Oversight Committee has been looking at this problem uh, specifically this year over the last five months. And we know that one leg of the stool is the action that's being taken locally right now. But there are other things that we can do to make our children more safe. I, I'd like to pass on the one comment. Uh, I think it's a sad time in our nation's history that we have to be at this point because of the way uh, we have been divided by different forces. Uh, having said that, uh, be sure that the current uh, legislation that's been discussed that gives rise to this program uh, will be built on as a result of the committee's work, your committee. Uh, we have looked at technology, we've looked at technology for buildings, uh, a whole gamut of things that come together. Uh, the safety at the school is an important adjunct to a total system of how we can keep our children safer. We will build on that legislation and I can promise uh, new legislation coming out or recommendations for same from this committee's work. Uh, I commend you for taking the action. Uh, I think it's necessary and we will do all I can. Anybody that wants to make input to the committee, please contact us and we're, we're still ongoing. Uh, we'll be winding up in the next couple of months. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Ray. I just want to add, and, I, and, I, and I'll repeat this, as I support 100% putting trained, experienced former law enforcement officers or experienced law enforcement officers in our schools or military police, supervised by the chiefs, the sheriffs, or the designee to protect our children. Yes, armed, to protect our children and deter anybody who might think about trying to create a problem or hurting our children or hurting our teachers or causing problems in our schools. 